Hey guys, what is up? Today I'm going to be giving you five easy tips to help you trim your beard at home by yourself, save you a bunch of money going to the barber, and hopefully it'll help you do a really, really good job on trimming your beard. Now, I'm going to be doing a maintenance trim, which is more like uh, just keeping things neat and tidy, right? I've been growing this out for a while, kind of unruly to be able to make this video. So let's get into it. I'm going to give you five tips as we go through my beard trim. I'm going to do it right here in front of you, and hopefully by the end of this, you'll have a little bit of knowledge on how to do it yourself. Number one, Get all the product out of your beard. Don't have beard oil, beard butter in there, uh, anything like that. You want that out of there. You want your beard in its natural state because you don't want to be dependent on products to make your beard look good. So if you have products in there and it's shaped in a certain way and then you trim your beard, if you don't have the products in there, it's going to look unruly. Whereas if you trim your beard with no products in it into the shape that you want it, when you add products, it just enhances that look. And when you don't have the products, it still looks fine. Speaking of products, uh, this is the Brio Beardscape Beard Trimmer that I'm going to be using. Um, it's like a hundred bucks. Um, it's the best beard trimmer that I've used. I like it so much. I did a video. If you look at my channel about two videos back, I did a whole series comparing it to like you know, professional uh, clippers and other kind of beard trimmers. And this one came out on top. I'll link this down below. It'll be an affiliate link. Uh, but if you don't want to give me the affiliate, you can just like Google this. It's a Brio Beardscape V2. All right, tip number two. You want to establish what you want and how your beard looks, right? So here's a tip. Get out your cell phone. Everybody has a cell phone, right? If you don't, what are you doing? So I'm gonna take this cell phone, I'm gonna put it in reverse mode, like reverse camera facing me. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna zoom out here so you can see this. I'm gonna do a full 180 around the side of my face. And I'm going to do a video, of course, and then we'll go ahead and I'm just gonna start it right here. I can see that it is on the side of my beard. I'll even go back a little bit. And then I'll just go slowly around my face like this. And what that's going to do is it's going to give me a very good idea of everything that's going on in my beard. It's going to give me the angle that this is at. It's going to give me what these back straps are looking like. Now, if you can see, I can look back at this video and I can get a clear shot of what my beard looks like. And I can see from here, the back of my neck, this is looking real scraggly. Um, it's looking almost like, um, rounded under here, which I don't like. I like more of a straight line under here. Um, so those are two things I know I need to address. On the third tip, we're gonna actually start getting into trimming here. I know it's been a few minutes here. So my main move when I'm doing my beard trim, and one of the most noticeable things you can do is taking your sideburns, the side of your beard, the bushiness going out that way, down to kind of minimize that bushiness. It's gonna make you look slimmer. If you can tell from right now, I'm gonna zoom in pretty hard. I got, you know, I got kind of a fat face already, but if, if I trim these sideburns down, which you'll see in a second, um, it's gonna make a world of difference and let me show you. If you don't have brios, just use whatever beard trimmer you got. Slap on like a one or two guard on there, probably a one guard. I'm gonna go with the one. I'm gonna slap that on there and I'm gonna take the guard up. The brios have the option to move the guard individually by itself there. I'm gonna snap it up all the way. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this trimmer and I'm gonna go down with it. I'm gonna rest it against my face and I'm gonna go straight down. I'm not gonna follow my jaw in. I'm just gonna go straight down like this. Now I'm gonna look at myself in the mirror for a second and then I'm gonna show you the results. I'm just going straight down with it just like this, all the way down, just like that. And it's taken off all the excess hair, it's getting it less bushy, and it's it seems scary to do it first, but it's not gonna mess up your beard. Okay, so I just had the one guard on, it went around the side of my face, let me zoom in here. Now look at this side of my face, it looks sleek, I'm trying not to look in the monitor while I do this, it looks some more sleek where this side looks more bushy. So if you go like this and you look at my face, look at that, look a little, you know, crazy. And if you go like this and look at my face, I look a lot more put together, right? So that's my main move that I do with my beard is taking those sides down. And the technique is literally just taking this, pushing it against your face and go, and going down and put it in an angle and just going down with it. You don't contour with your cheek. You don't contour with your jaw. You can contour a little bit at the end if you want, like go in just a tiny bit, like I do a tiny bit there, but once you start taking chunks off the bottom, if that's what you're planning to do, that's gonna affect that too. So you wanna wait till you've done that. I'm gonna do it to this side of my face and I'm gonna look right at the camera while I do it. Hopefully it works. I've gotten pretty good at it. It's not that complicated of a move. You just gotta trust yourself that you're not gonna, and you wanna go all the way around here, right? Not just the sides, but underneath the sideburns. You wanna go all the way around, just like that and that should look pretty much even. I was looking at the monitor, watching myself do that, where this side and this side, if I take and cover here, this beard looks 
pretty put together. And if I cover here, this beard also looks pretty put together. All right, fourth tip is gonna be for this area back here. I think I, I just call it a back strap, but it sounds like it's a, a cut of meat when I say that. But I'm gonna talk about this area right here. The problem is this is behind your jaw, right? So no matter how much I, you know, you know, I can't, I still can't see it. So the problem with that is you can't see it, but you need to trim it. Me, I'm an exception to the rule where I've gotten pretty good at trimming the back of my, uh, I've gotten pretty good at trimming the back of mine. So one hack that you can do is it's gonna cost you one upfront fee of going to the barber, or you could have your girlfriend or your mom or your boyfriend or whoever do this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go through and look up like beard side profile on Google and you're gonna find a bunch of images of different beard side profiles. You're gonna find the one that you like that you think fits your face and you're gonna say, I want that one and you're gonna show it to whoever's gonna be cutting the side of your beard and you're gonna trust them to get that right because they can stand back here and look here and get it exactly how that picture looks whereas you are not gonna do that great of a job generally. Even I am not the best at it. But once you initially get that cut, if you're diligent and you do like every three, four days, you come back and you kind of check the line and you trim up, maybe, every, maybe twice a week you get in, you look at the line from the new hair versus the old hair and you just cut that, that new hair away and you let the old hair stay, you'll have that line forever indefinitely until you forget to stop doing it twice a week. So that's a free hack for that. I don't have a barber on hand, so I'm gonna be doing it myself. So I've gotten pretty good at the technique of like grabbing the side of my face, pulling, and like looking for a general outline of where I need to be. And so I'm just gonna start off like this. I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna go down a little bit around the curve, and I'm gonna go a little bit further and see where I'm at. And then this is where that cell phone trick comes into play, because now I can put the reverse camera on. I go in here, put it on, go to video, reverse it, selfie camera, and then I take a video and I go around back here and see what I've done. Again, head straight, just like you would normally look, and then I'm gonna be looking back here like this with my camera. Now I can just watch the video and I can see I did a decent job there, but there's still a few scragglers. So you can probably see that on camera if I look like this, but I can't see that. So now I'm gonna go back again and make it a more of a crisp line. And I'm gonna take a little bit more off, just a tiny bit. And one of the keys when trimming your beard, and this is the, one of those instances where it matters the most, is taking your time and just taking it slow. If you're in a rush, don't trim your beard because you can always trim more off, but you can't, as much super glue or Gorilla Glue as you have, you can't put it back on. You could, but it ain't gonna look that great. Um, so just take your time. If, you're, if I'm doing this and you hear me cut like one single hair, so be it. Take your time. You don't wanna screw this up. Because if you screw this up, then you're not gonna have a beard. Somebody else is not gonna have a beard. It'll be anarchy. I'll be the only person with a beard looking like a stupid idiot. I'm also gonna go up here where my circle meets that back point, that ear circle. And I'm gonna kinda of go off that line too and make an angle out. Okay, now I'm gonna check it with my phone. And now I can see from that video that that's pretty much what I like. Like that's a good line to start with. Once I start trimming under here, it's gonna be a little different, but to start with, that's good. I'm gonna do it on this side real quick. I'm gonna do my cheek lines real quick. There's not a lot of um, advice I can give for cheek lines other than just, just do it, you know? I don't have a lot of hot pointers for these. That one's pretty good. Let me just see if I can match it on this one. And the longer you wait to trim these, the harder it is. And I've been waiting for a while to do this beard trim. I've gotten pretty good at it to where I'm usually like first go, I can get a pretty close shot at it. Go a little bit lower. One tip I can give you with this is the more you nitpick at it, like I'm doing right now, the worse it's probably gonna end up. I'm gonna be fine with this. I'm gonna leave it be. I don't need perfection. All right, we still got one more tip left. I'm gonna trim the bottom of my beard. I'm just gonna kind of take some strokes out. Um, here's a kind of a side tip. Get a comb, comb it out. You don't want a cheap plastic comb. You want something like a Kent comb, or you would want to look like handmade polished combs that don't have um, plastic jagged edges all over the times that are going to scratch your face and hair up. Um, you don't want that, but once you comb it out, you get a better look of what you got going here. So I know I got some low stuff here, I got some low stuff up here, and then in the back I have some low stuff. So I'm going to try and get rid of that. I'm not going to talk because I don't want to move my jaw. And then me being fancy and so comfortable with my trimmer, I'm going with no guard on, just hand trimming the edges here. 
All right, we got one last very important tip. Also, winter's coming. You might need some real thick beard oil. It's gonna last longer in your beard. Check out Beard Med. This is my beard oil. It sells for, it's just a two ounce bottle for $14.99. So it's like a $7 bottle of beard oil times two. You have to buy a bunch of it, but you get it for a good price. I'll link it down below. No pressure. You can literally go to Walmart and get like a $3 bottle of castor oil and do, that'll do really good in the winter as well. So fifth tip is going to be with the neckline. A lot of people, the main mistake I see in guys that are doing their beard trims, they're trimming a V with their jaw or lack of jaw, right? They're trimming a V where they want their jaw to be. Even like it's the worst when you don't have like, I'm a fat guy. I don't have a jawline. Um, the worst is when you don't have that chiseled jawline and you trim with that to like give the impression that there is a jawline, it doesn't do that. When you do that, you're losing this like triangle of hair under here because you're cutting that V. So there's a whole triangle of hair you're pulling out. And so it's like looking at a row of trees versus a forest, right? The row of trees is gonna look a lot thinner, but if you look at the forest, you can't see through it. It's real dense. So if you leave that back there, what you wanna do is you wanna go from basically the apex of your jaw, this corner of your jaw right there, and there, you wanna make like a straight line underneath. I'm gonna kinda of lift your beard up, make a straight line underneath, and that, where my fingers tracing should be roughly where my beard line is at. And I'm gonna go ahead and trim it. And I'm just trimming the existing line that I have, because I've had this line for a long time. And I know it's pretty spot on, just like that. Now I'm gonna brush it out one more time. And now I should have a pretty dang decent looking beard, if I do say so myself. So now is when you can take, you wanna probably shower off and then you can put your products in. Uh, I'm gonna use beard meds, wink, wink, link below, you know what I mean? And the great thing is the more you do it, the better practice you are at it, the way easier it becomes. If I didn't have to film this video, I could have done that in like two and a half minutes, less than, maybe two minutes. But anyways, guys, that's the video. I don't like to load you at the front with like the like, subscribe, comment. You know how to do that. You're a grown up YouTube, you know what the YouTube buttons are. If you like it, hit the comment or question, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. Hopefully this was helpful. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Stay bearded. Bye.